garlic presses are controversial, thanks to haters like Anthony Bourdain and Alton Brown. And lo and behold, when we asked the Food52 community what life improvers they wanted us most to review, it was garlic presses by a landslide. 60% of our community loves their garlic presses. So we felt duty bound to kick off our new testing column, Food52 Approved, with garlic presses. We tried out 15 brands, including several that were submitted by you, our community, and we ran them through a number of tests. We hand washed them, we dish washed them, we tasted the results raw, we tasted the results warmed up in a garlicky oil for pasta. We wanted to see clever, practical designs and we were looking out for the main gripes from our community. How easy they are to clean, how easy they are to squeeze, how much garlic was wasted in the process and how many cloves they could fit. The first thing I wanna clear up is that one of the main complaints about garlic presses is that they are a unitasker. They only do one thing that could easily be done by mincing with a knife or by using a microplane. What you get in the end is actually very, very different. And the reason why is because of a compound called allicin, which is what is created when you break up the cell walls of garlic and it gives garlic that really pungent flavor. So the more that you rough up those cells, the more pungent your garlic is gonna be. So a clean cut mincing with a knife is going to generate less allicin than a garlic press, which kind of crushes it on its way out, which is going to generate less allicin than a microplane. And you can really taste the results if you go side by side with each of these. So. If you love a garlic press, we wanted to help you out, so here are our favorites from our testing. Our first pick is the classic. This is the Xylus Suzy 3. It is a descendant of the very first modern garlic press. Julia Child actually was a big fan of garlic presses and hers was the original Xylus Suzy, which is now in the Smithsonian. It's really lightweight. It comes with this handy little cleaning pick that you can pop out and this can help get the garlic skins out. This can help kind of brush away any that's stuck in the holes. And it just pops right back in there when you're done cleaning. And it's pretty easy to squeeze. So here are the cons. Like so many garlic presses, it does require a knife to scrape it off. Not a huge deal. And this cleaning thingy, you know, because it is separate, it could get lost. Not the end of the world. You could use a knife to scrape this out if needed or a fork. This is dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended because this is aluminum and over time it will darken. The next pick was one of our community favorites. This one is from Ikea. It is the 365 Varnafol, and it has this kind of cool, fully like swing out design for easy cleaning, which is very handy. It has a nice generous hopper here to fit a big clove or multiple cloves and it's incredibly sturdy for only being $7.99. The cons are it has slightly smaller holes, so that means a little bit more pressure, and like so many others, you have to use a knife to scrape it out. It also doesn't lay flush here, so it's not like a clean sweep. You just have to kind of scoop it out there. This one, there might be a little bit more waste with because of the small holes. It means that there's a little more that can get trapped in those holes, and also it kind of can shove some up here onto the presser. The award for easiest to clean goes to the Dream Farm Garject because unlike most of these presses, you don't need a knife to scrape it clean. It has some pretty clever designs to do that automatically. So once you've pressed it with all that stuff that might still be stuck there, as you open it up, this little squeegee thing scrapes it clean. Once you scrape it off, these little teeth push the rest back out and then this little eject button pulls out the peel. It is the heaviest one we tested at 14 ounces, which means it's quite sturdy, but it is heavy to hold. If that's a concern, they do make a lighter version that is plastic. And now for the easiest to squeeze. This is the Man Kitchen Double Lever Assisted Garlic Press. So this one definitely takes the least pressure in pressing out the garlic cloves, even with multiple cloves. There's some very smart engineering going on in here. This one does require a knife like so many others, but when you do get it open, that basket pops out and you can just kind of nick the skin off. There's one more, sort of an honorable mention because it's not actually a garlic press in the traditional sense, but it's really handy for folks with limited mobility or arthritis. It's this Joseph Joseph garlic rocker. 
One con is that you do need to use peeled cloves to start with, but I discovered this other handy tool in my testing, this silicone garlic peeler. And I was kind of surprised at how well it worked. You just roll it like this, give it a little bit. Look, there's already peel shooting out the side. Let's see. So it's just enough pressure to loosen the peels and make them easy to come off. It takes a little bit of pressure, but you can just rock it like that. It's really easy to do multiple cloves in a row. It does give you a fairly chunky mince and some of the middle pieces kind of come out like sticks. If you want something finer, scoop it off and mince it again to as fine as you like. And then when you're done, you can just scoop it all off and use it however you like. So from our top picks here, you can see most of them are fairly fine mints. The rocker is a little bit chunkier. The finer you go, obviously, as we said before, the spicier the garlic will be. But I have to say, in tasting all of these results, the difference between garlic presses was relatively minimal. You know, there'd be one brand of garlic press here, one brand here, and then the microplane was like way up here. It was like instant fire in your mouth. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit like and subscribe for all of our future product tests. And let us know in the comments, what products would you like us to test next? Thank you so much. And we will see you next time on Food 52 Approved.